Hello, my name's Purple Pink. Fuck. <laughs> Hello, my name's Purple Pingers, and this is my YouTube channel. Uh, if you're new here, um, first things first, please ignore this pimple that I've got right here, and I will touch a lot. Um, and if you're new here to this format as well, then good luck to you, uh, because so am I. Um, I'm going to be talking about Matt and Josh design or designs and just a recent video that they did. Um, but before I start, I just want to talk about this new shirt that I got. <clears throat> Sarah's going to hate me for this, but I think it's really cool. Uh, that's enough of that. Uh, apparently, a lot of people had been saying that their um, nepotism kids or trust fund kids... Um, or that they experienced generational wealth. Um, and they did a video where they're like, we're not any of this, um, and we're going to address this. Nepotism, trust fund kids, generational wealth. We've heard it all and thought we'd address it, as we realise there could be a lot of you out there that genuinely think we come from money, and it's the only way to a better life. And, and then just didn't address any of that, and did a lot of um, lying by omission. Uh, which occurs when an important fact is left out in order to foster a misconception, um, which they do a lot uh, in this video. Before I start, I just wanted to say that I did a video on this before, and they left a bunch of comments on it, um, and they've blocked me, so that was really good. Um, but I also want to say that I'm really impressed with what they've done, um, they're incredible artists, even though I don't particularly like the little squiggly things that they do. I'm sure there are plenty of people who do. Um, but that's not the issue that I have with this. Their art, that's fine. You know, rich people can buy it if they want. Uh, it's the fact that they say that they didn't have rich parents um, or generational wealth uh, and then uh, did have that. One of the comments that they left on my video was that they hated that they had to talk about this on my platform or whatever, um, which is funny because they're the ones who brought it up in the first place, um, and I just called them out a little bit on it um, for a little bit of that gaslighting, uh, and they've they've really blamed it on me, honestly. Fair enough. I accept that, but also I kind of don't. All right, let's get into it. The first frame is them laughing at comments saying that they have rich parents, generational wealth, and that they never worked for nothing. I don't agree with the last one. I think they definitely worked. Um, however, rich parents. Let's get into rich parents. So the guy on the right, his name is Matthew Moss, and his first job as a graduate was at IAG. Um, so he got a job there through the graduate program as a digital graduate, and he worked there for two years and seven months. I did a bit of research and I found someone called Michael Moss, who also works at IAG. Uh, he worked there for 17 years and three months. Um, in February 2011, he was a senior manager, which is like obviously quite a senior manager. Um, and that was a number of years ago, 11 years ago. And now he's a category manager, which is like very high up at IAG. He's quite senior in IAG. According to glassdoor.com.au, a senior manager's salary at IAG is approximately $225,000 per year. Now, I don't know about you, but that's a lot of money, especially considering the average Australian the average household income is less than $100,000 in Australia, and that's for, like, two people. When I was first looking, I thought, look, there's no way that this guy is that guy's dad. Uh, then looked up his Facebook page. Uh, here he is. Um, in his cover photo, he has Matthew Moss, which is Matt from Matt and Josh. Uh, turns out that's his dad. Matt's dad is pretty rich, and he works at the company uh, that Matt... Uh, got his graduate job at. Now, if we go back to the definition of nepotism, nepotism is the practice among those with power or influence favoring rev relatives, friends, or associates, especially by giving them jobs. So, obviously, I don't know what happened in it with his graduate application, um, but Mr. Moss is quite senior at the company, and even if he says, you know, his dad didn't give him a leg up or anything or help him with his resume or whatever um there's no way that someone in 
the uh, like the graduate uh, selection team wouldn't have been influenced even subconsciously by the fact that this person is incredibly senior at this company um pretty much that falls into the definition of nepotism so the fact that they're like "Mm, no we never experienced nepotism or didn't have rich parents like bruh your dad's rich i don't know i don't know what what do you mean is you are you saying he's not rich the comment says rich parents you're like we're going to address this didn't address that and then your dad's rich the language is a bit misleading in this video um often they use we and i very selectively uh and the narrator is josh so it's not matt um matt is the person that i'm focusing on in this video for obvious reasons because he's the one with the incredibly fucking rich dad in the video they say that people genuinely think that we come from money and while it might be true that josh doesn't come from money matt certainly does so using using the language there uh we come from money uh may not be correct but that's a bit misleading if you watch more of the video the narrator uses the term we at pretty much every single point except for the point where he says i lost my job uh d- due to the pandemic we met about six years ago back when we were working in retail and studying at uni we moved into a rent subsidized apartment together until we graduated fast forward a few years and i lost my job because of the pandemic we were at a f- if you look at matt's linkedin profile matt did not lose his job uh during the pandemic and matt works uh in tech as an ios developer and then during the pandemic as a senior iOS mobile engineer, which is a pretty high paying job. Uh, So that's again misleading because the rest of the video, they go on to say how they made all their money through, or not exactly say, but insinuate that they made all their money through their little plasticine models and shit. That's not true. Matt still worked full time in tech uh, in a high paying job, I'm assuming. Like if it's not high paying, then like feel free to tell me how much money you're earning, Matty boy, but I doubt it. The way that they uh, present the rest of the video is that like, look, you could do the same thing. Like we just saved a little bit from our retail jobs and then just launched our own brand with the Shopify account. And like, you can really do that, but they don't say that Matt worked uh, full time at a high paying tech job where he got his first job as a graduate in his dad's company. And now uh, from selling little $50 plasticine squiggles, own a fucking custom Porsche. Uh, anytime anyone seems to talk about this on their videos or on their Instagram, uh, they just block them uh, after being really aggressive to them in comments, uh, which is not a great way um, to do that, especially because a lot of them are actually fans of them and like are really impressed with the art that they make. Um, there was a time that I was a little bit impressed, but I don't think so anymore. Um, also, Full disclosure, when I finished my law degree, I did my uh, practical legal training at a company that my dad uh, used to work at. I want to say that that's an incredibly privileged thing to be able to do. And if I wasn't like, you know, a white male from the North Shore, that's that's probably something that wouldn't have been afforded to me. And I don't want to say there's nothing wrong with that because that's like everything that I hate in society is the fact that that's the way that that functions. Um, But that is also why then I left, moved from Sydney because, you know, I realized the only way I was going to get a job in law was if I spoke to someone that my dad knew and like that's disgusting to me. But I'm happy to acknowledge that that's how I got my job. It really pisses me off when people aren't able to acknowledge that um they're really it's really clear that they don't think that they're privileged or at least matt doesn't or i don't know if it's both of them or whatever um i don't think josh was particularly privileged but also i don't know both of their whole stories um but yeah admit it it's fine no one's gonna hurt you just you know acknowledge that you're privileged there's nothing wrong with acknowledging that and learning from that and helping others through that I'm not sure what else I want to say about this. I don't want to pick on these two, um, well, like maybe a little bit, but not that much. But yeah, I think I might do some more long form YouTube videos of some rentals that I've been having a look at and really hate. So if you like this kind of content, then um, 
smash the fucking like button.